Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Now let's move on to our discussion on issue of shares payable in installments. Uh, in this regard, I have picked one question uh, relating to this particular topic. Uh, let's go through the question, then we'll move on to the solution. So here you are given APPLC offered 200 shares at 20 per share with a share premium of $6 on the following terms. The application money uh, at the rate of 10 with a premium of uh, $3. Okay, So application money is received is uh, $10 with a premium of $3. So therefore you can see this $10 includes this $3 share premium. Okay, So therefore the nominal value the nominal value of a share is 10 minus 3, so which is $7, and the share premium is $3. Okay? And allotment money received $7 with a premium of $2. So therefore, here also we can identify what is the nominal value, which is 7 minus 2, which will be $5, and the share premium is $2. And the final call is $3 with a premium of $1, okay? So what is the nominal value? Nominal value of the share is 3 minus 1, which will be $2, and the share premium will be $1. So when you add, when you add up these two, 7 plus 5 plus 2, so which is $14 is the nominal value, and 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is $6, will be the share premium. So total will be how much? $20 per share. Okay. So these, this $20 per share is collected uh, on application money $10, on allotment money $7, and in the final call $3. Okay. So what is required? The issue was fully subscribed and all payments received as scheduled. So prepare the journal entry and ledger accounts. Okay. So now let's move on to the, uh, uh, the journal entries. First of all, we'll uh, move on to the journal entries. So what is the first entry? First entry is receiving money on application. Okay, so $10 and how many shares are offered? 200,000 shares. So therefore 200 times 10 will be 2 million. So when you receive money, the bank will be, bank account will be debited with 2 million, this is 2 million, then application and allotment account, application and allotment account will be credited 2 million. So this is the first general entry. Then uh, allotment money is received $7. So $7 times 200,000 shares will be 1.4 million. So therefore, when you receive the allotment money, the bank account will be debited because you are receiving uh, cash, so 1.4 million, and credit application and allotment account, 1.4 million. Now, uh, at the time of allotting the shares, uh, you will have to uh, transfer uh, the money received to the ordinary share capital account. Okay, so therefore. The next entry will be you need to debit application and allotment account. So now in the application and allotment account we have 2 million and 1.4 million. So which is 3 million 400,000. This 3 million 400,000 will be uh, debited the application and allotment account. Then we need to credit ordinary share capital account. We need to credit and also the share premium account share premium account should be credited. So how do you identify these two numbers? So as you can see, uh, this $10 and $7. So total received is $17. This $17 includes share premium 3 plus 2, $5. So once you eliminate this uh, share premium $5, so nominal value will be $12. As you can see, 7 plus 5 will be 12. So 
So 3 plus 2 will be 5. Okay. So therefore, the ordinary share capital should be credited with uh, the nominal value which is $12 per share. So $12 per share times 200,000 number of shares which is going to be uh, 2.4 million. Okay. So 2 million 400,000 will be credited to the uh, ordinary share capital account. Then the share premium will be $5. So $5 times 200,000 which will be 1 million. So therefore 1 million will be credited to the share premium account. Okay. So thereafter what you need to do is you need to uh, record the final call. So when you receive the final call the bank account will be debited with how much? $3 times 200. So which is 600,000 will be debited and final call final call account will be credited with 600,000. So thereafter uh, thereafter what you need to do is you need to transfer the final call to the uh, ordinary share capital account and the share premium account. Okay. So what will be the uh, double entry? So let me choose a separate different color. Okay. So fifth journal entry will be the final call account will be debited. So final call account will be debited with 600,000 and share capital account will be credited and share premium account will be credited. Okay. So how much is the share capital? What is the nominal value? So here the total value is 3, share premium is 1, so therefore nominal value is $2. So $2 times 200,000 shares, so which is going to be 400,000 and the share premium is $1 times 200 will be 200,000. Okay. So these are the journal entries that you need to pass in order to record these particular transactions. Okay. So now we'll, let's move on to the uh, ledger accounts. Uh, let's start with the, uh, the bank account. We need bank account. This is the bank account. Then we need application and allotment account. Application and allotment account. Then we need share capital account, ordinary share, ordinary share capital account, ordinary share capital account. Then we need a share premium account, share premium account. Then we need final call account, okay, final call. So now let's uh, record the transaction. The first general entry is bank account debit 2 million and application and allotment account credit 2 million. So therefore bank account will be debited with 2 million. So I will take it in thousands, application and allotment account. Application and allotment account will be credited 2 million bank account. Then uh, allotment money received, again the bank account will be debited with 1.4 million. Application and allotment account, 1,400,000. Then application and allotment account will be credited with 1.4 million. So 1,400,000 bank account. So upon receiving the uh, allotment money, shares will be allotted. Then when you allot, uh, the nominal value should be nominal value should be credited to the ordinary share capital account which is uh, $12 per share. So $12 times 200,000 will be 2.4 million. So application and allotment account will be 2,400,000 ordinary share capital account. Then ordinary share capital account will be credited with uh, application and allotment account 2,400,000. Then you need to record the uh, the final call. Sorry, uh, you need to record the share premium. The share premium is one million. So one million here application and allotment account debit. Share premium. Share premium. Share premium account will be credited application and allotment account one million. Uh, then the final call. Final call money received should be recorded now. You need to debit the bank account and you need to credit the final call account. Here you can say final call 600,000 and the final call account will be credited uh, bank account 600,000. So now the final call will be transferred to the share capital and the share premium account. 
So how much is the nominal value? Two dollars per share, which is four hundred thousand. So four hundred thousand will be debited here, and ordinary share capital account will be credited with four hundred thousand. You can say final call. Then share premium account will be uh, credited with two hundred. So final call account debit two hundred. Share premium account credit two hundred. So this is final call. Okay. So therefore, when you take the totals, if you take the total of share capital, so there is a credit balance of two point eight million, and the share premium account you can see one point two million. So this is basically, if you look at the uh, the total number of shares, which is two hundred. Okay, two hundred thousand shares times the share premium is how much? Uh, five dollars, six dollars. Share premium is six dollars. So six dollars, which is equal to one million two hundred thousand. Okay, so this is in thousands. So one million two hundred thousand we have credited. Then ordinary share capital account is how much? Two point eight million. So what is the nominal value of the shares? The nominal value of the shares is fourteen dollars. So two hundred thousand shares times fourteen dollars will be two million eight hundred thousand. So which is Exactly credited in the ordinary share capital account. Uh, then total money received is how much? 2.8 million plus 1.2 million. So 2.8 million plus 1.2 million, which is total is 4 million. So which is 200,000 shares, and shares are issued at 20 per share. So therefore, which is 4 million. So in the uh, bank account, as you can see, the total value of the money received is how much? Two uh, million, one point four, and six hundred, which is going to be four million. So four million on the debit side of the uh, bank account, and on the credit side, you have ordinary share capital account two point eight million, and the share premium account you have one point two million. So this application and allotment account will be uh, balanced now three point four million. There is no balance. We have transferred the entire amount to the ordinary share capital and the share premium account, and the final call account also. We can see. There is no balance. We have transferred the entire amount to share capital and share premium account. Okay. With this, I will conclude the session. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye for now.